Welcome back to Afrocast episode 2 in isolation. Now, this whole coronavirus thing has been a bit crazy, but you know, I just keep giving you real content. I've got my sister here. She's going to be our new co-host for the time being, giving you real vibes. It's Afrocast in isolation. Wagwan. Uh, now, so we, we, are, we definitely know the news about the whole coronavirus thing. I mean, don't you know the news? You, you know what's been going on. Like, basically, this whole coronavirus has has turn this world upside down people people so many people are suffering so many people are going through things but i think i, I don't know what to think man um, once i just heard that boris johnson got into the hospital the same guy that was just it's crazy it's crazy but now we hear that he's out of hospital Hopefully, more people will be coming out as well, so that some more people will be feeling better. I Wait, mean, if... Hmm? Hold on. I thought he was out of intensive care, not out of the hospital itself. But isn't it... I thought intensive care was in the hospital. He was in the hospital, but I said he'd been admitted to, like, normal... normal oh, like, regu- regular checkup stuff. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, so... Yeah, but he's, he says he says he's feeling better. So that's something we can, be like, be happy about. So if he... If they could... If they could get someone now, if they could actually help someone, or if they could get, I'm I'm using the wrong word. If they could make someone feel better, then, or if they can cure someone or like suppress the ill the, the the virus, then I mean we should start looking looking up so like more people will start feeling more more people will start getting cured, and we stop losing lives. Well, it's it's kind of crazy, but what do you what do you think about this whole thing? I mean. You, schools closed down and everything. What have you been doing this whole time? Um, for me, I had to look for something else to do because this quarantine is just pretty much normal. Mm. It's normal. We know how it is. What do you mean we? Uh, sorry, it's just you. You I don't, lived I, in the same house with me for 17 no, years. You I, know I've never, I mean. never been quarantined before. Okay. I mean, like being in quarantine is kind of crazy. It's like... I don't know, it's like, you now, it's like we're all there, we know that we can't go out. Like, I mean, Mandem, right? We're, we're used to going out. We can't just be staying inside our house, if you know what I mean. It's kind of crazy. But then, you're, you're, you literally jail yourself on your own. You literally just sit down in the house and... But now that you don't have, you literally don't have schoolwork, at least for the time being, until... No, I have something to do, actually. Until online school. I mean, like, aside from school, what else, are you, what else are you actually doing? Well, I've gotten into digital arts, actually, so that I started with my tablet. Mm. Since I never really used it, I'm like, oh, look, there's something I like. Let me try it out and see. Do I still want to keep it up? And so far, yeah, I like it. I want to keep it up. Yeah. And I'm hoping to get more equipment and try to continue even when school starts next week. Mm, so you've turned it into, you're turning that, like, uh, hobby during quarantine into something you want to do, like, in the future. I'm not really sure. I think I'll not still like keep a it as job. a hobby. Not like a job. I mean, like, you, you've turned it into, like, a proper hobby. Like, if I started doing something that I haven't been doing because I'm not allowed to do other things I normally do, then when I'm now allowed to do the things I normally do, I mean, I would... I, there's a chance that I'll drop what I was doing or if I really enjoyed it, I'll keep doing it as well. Oh, no, I'm going to keep it. I'm not dropping it. Hmm. I like it. For the people, for the people that, like, that are... Lit, that most of the hobbies or most of the things they had to do had to do with going outside. I mean, there are, like, so many stuff they can actually do. There's stuff like... Like... <sighs> There's actually nothing you can do. You know, there's actually something with that. Oh. Yeah, the hobbies are mostly outdoor hobbies, mm-hmm. and there are stuff for them to do. But what if they just have no interest in it? Because if someone has no interest, you can't expect them to be open to new things. Like me, I had an interest in digital drawing. Yeah. But I can't tell someone like I can't tell you to do it if you have no interest. So what happens to them? Yeah, I mean. If they don't have an interest in a particular thing, you have to just find out something, or you just you're just gonna keep sleeping. You just, you wake, you wake up, you sleep, you you sleep, you eat. Netflix. Net Netflix. I I don't classify Netflix as a thing you do in your life. I mean, okay, you sleep, you eat, you Netflix. You, we're just calling your lifestyle. <laughs> 
<laughs> you sleep, you eat, you Netflix, you digital draw. But then I'd say turn your distractions into hobbies. Turn what people, what you saw as a distraction in your life into a hobby. Like, I mean, if, you are, if you're focusing on schoolwork at the moment, as a university student or focusing on a job focusing on something really important to you you might see some other things like distractions for some people some of their friends have been seen as distractions so i'd say catch up with those friends you know what i'm saying i mean you can talk to them on the phone have like people are people are on house party like the app and you know, let's, let's just, just say house let's into just this. let's just say that they're conversating and conversating yeah but then there's house party people are video calling on snapchat people in relationships i mean are still actually having a solid relationship i mean the I, I guess they're having a solid relationship with this whole isolation thing because i mean when you're used to staying with your you with your loved one almost all the time then you should you you're probably you should, you you probably find it easier or is that the word you'd actually be able to stay stay away from this person for a while you know what i'm saying yeah but that's for some people because you know there are some people that are actually breaking up now that they're quarantined together mm, which but, doesn't really make sense what's happening well yeah but like that's more like oh they're finally seeing the true form of that person i mean once you live with that person for like 24 7 throughout then you start to know the real demons and all of that like all the girls that said i can't cook (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) all the guys that said they can't clean where's your mop and broom now brother i don't see it but really like Find stuff to do, find stuff to do, make time, make time for the things you actually didn't make time for before. I mean, I I haven't done that, but I I mean, I play video games, I chill with my bros, I chat with my people, then I make videos. I make what I make, I make my, I make my videos and it comes out as my hobby. That, that takes up much most, most of my time, aside from sleeping and eating, because that's what everyone's doing. So don't judge me. Everyone sleeps and eats a bit more than we should. I think the government's trying to get us fat, though. I feel like my, my cousin, she's part of the government. She's just been trying to... Mama's just been trying to get us fat, like, this whole time. Because it's working. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not working, really, yeah. I don't even feel like working out, like... The vibe's not even there anymore. I'm t- like so much, so much, so so much has just been taken away from us. You sound so sad. It's so sad. This isn't meant to be a sad podcast, but <laughs> it's just coming out. It's just, <laughs> it's just coming out. Oh man, like honestly, like look at this. One of my friends, we um, we were. What was it? We, what, were we pl- what were we planning to do? We were planning on playing basketball. And then we found out we couldn't play basketball. On a regular day, if we cancelled out on people, we wouldn't feel like too disappointed. But then, we're not allowed to go play basketball in our public space. We're not even allowed to see each other. Fam, it hurts. Like, that's basketball. It hurts. We can't even go play basketball anymore. We can't go chat to people. We can't go. We can't do anything. We're just there. So imagine people that probably like, let's say, people that are loners. Oh no, they probably like this. They probably like this. You've not, you've not said anything. What do you think? Give like. I'd say the people that this quarantine is hitting the most are probably the extroverts, those that like going out, and those that like they just love to be around people. Mm. I'm not saying that um, everybody love being around people there are some that okay they like people they can stay in those so they don't mind mm. when i say they you know i'm referring to myself mm. i don't mind yeah, this yeah. i still talk to my friends video call them even though some people have gone home yeah and some are just in different places right now Not true, but say right. when you actually look at it mm-hmm. are we in this situation is it getting better or worse is it getting better or worse i don't know because all right, now they've been telling us to stay in our homes, to stay inside, uh, to like suppress the virus. I mean, like stop the spread. 
but we still have people going out more than once i mean you go out for your daily exercise and you are out for like five hours you come out then you go out again in the evening just for a stroll now we all know you're not going for a stroll we all know you're probably going there to do something and then you just lose track of time or you actually plan to stay out longer than you should and it makes it hard even if the virus is spreading i mean the government is seeing and if they can see that we are not listening, they're just gonna leave. They're just gonna leave the lockdown for a very long time. I mean, they're they're still doing their business. They're still doing whatever they need to do. So it's affecting us a lot more than it should because we're kind of worsening what should have been a quick lockdown thing. I mean, if we're locked down. I was thinking this would have just lasted for like a month or half a month, two weeks. But look, we might get into like, we, this, we're getting really close to the end of April. And if we get close to the end of April, we get into May. From May, June, June, July, God forbid this goes on to the whole year. I can't be doing online classes for the whole year. I mean, I don't even want to do online classes for the whole year. I don't think anyone wants school. I don't, I don't think it's gonna work. A university, I don't remember this university, but they told people, like the students, no class. <clears throat> no class. They've all passed the session and they've moved on to the next year. I don't know if that was a joke, but I saw it and it was from, I know I saw it on a group chat from someone's friend in the uni, so I got the email. So, man them, the girl them, don't have to read, don't have to do no more exams or nothing. I don't have exams on the regular, Michelle. I do practicals. I do film and theatre, we do practicals. What are we gonna do? We're gonna act our movies inside our houses and send it to them. I can't even imagine. It's so, it's, it's so jarring that this whole thing has broken down the, the economical system to this level in ways that I cannot explain because I didn't do a, com- a, com- a, com- a comics. Okay, you know, when you look at it like that, you've mentioned economics, let's look at businesses. There yeah. are businesses that can't survive in these situations, like, look at something like O2. Yeah. That's a tech store, right? Mm-hmm. People come and go, and they've shut down. They've emptied their stock, they've closed up. Yeah. The only businesses that I know that are actually still open, we have the supermarkets. Yeah, I mean, like pharmacies. Yeah, like right, right now, those, those, it's not even the necessities. The ones that can make money at a time like this. Michelle, hardware stores are open. Just in case one of your most essential hardware breaks down, it's open for you to go get. I mean, not all of them, but maybe some second-hand ones, some smaller ones. Tesco is open till a, a, part, a particular amount of time. Sainsbury is open till a particular amount of time. All the rest of the shops, Asta, you name it, they're all open because they know they sell what we need at a time like this. If if our toilet paper finishes, we have to we we have to go to them. We have to go and buy the tissue, the toilet paper, because that's what we supposedly need. I don't know why we need so much toilet paper, but we need it. There's so many, so many things, so many things that are there that we just, just the necessity. Oh yeah, well yeah, things we need. The things we need, the shops that sell them are open and they're making their money. So they're the ones profiting from all this. Whether they're coming out, whether they're staying in their houses or staying or coming outside, they're getting their money one way or the other other shops are closing but these people are getting their money and also all these online stores like look at amazon people buy stuff practically every day mm-hmm. things that they can't get from those stores even online sites like asos they're still operating even though they slow down things like their delivery times mm, i'm still waiting for my order yeah even <laughs> i'm still waiting for my order <laughs> it'll still come eventually eventually it's better than ever. Come tomorrow. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, it's just basically spreading positive vibes. Positive vibes right now is what we need. Like, <clears throat> I can't imagine a situation where it was looking worse than this. Imagine it actually being worse than this. 
Imagine it actually getting worse in time to come. Okay, now I'm, make, I'm making the situation worse because I'm talking negatively now. Yeah. Uh, fam, we just need to spread positive vibes. And that's what we're here to do on Africast. Like, this episode is just to give you a status update of what's going on. You want a cough? No, you're on. Oh, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I have to give positive vibes to the people. So like, they keep coming back for more and it gives us positive vibes as well. It gives us stuff to do and we just live. Cause I'd say the good things we can get from this is the fact that so many things have been shut down. So many stuff people used to rely on. You start to see what's in front of you. You literally start to see what's in front of you and you start to remember things you saw as relevant. More people are checking up on their friends. Friends they haven't spoken to in time just to know they're all right. From there, conversations start. From there, relationships are fixed. People start to connect once more. Start using their phones for something useful. Bob Daddy. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh my God. Like... <clears throat> I can run that meme we look at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. You start looking, you start looking at friends and but yeah, I mean, there's so many things. That that challenge is quite a funny <laughs> cuz now I can't watch it without laughing. I can't watch it without laughing anymore. And I'm just like, what's the point of all this? The one I despise is that I'm a savage. I, I despise it so much. It makes me want to rip off my headphones. God, you know, before I liked that song, I heard it a few times. You sang that song anyways. Megan Stallion. I was guessing. I mean, to all her stands, I'm sorry. I never... I, yeah, I'm sorry. What were we saying? So, I liked the song initially. I didn't know what the challenge. Then I just started looking at people's stats and seeing everything. I'm a savage. I let her. Okay, it's a challenge, that's nice. After a while, I saw it on almost every status I clicked. I don't like the song anymore. No, I'm telling you, like, the first one I saw looked pretty nice. Cause Savage? Because I, I didn't think it was a, I didn't think it was a challenge. The first challenge I saw, whether it was, it was, because it wasn't Megan Thee Stallion that did it. Um, the one that I watched. It was this girl, and as she was doing all the poses and everything, she was changing her costumes and everything, and it looked so nice. I was like, oh, and her phone quality was good. Her phone quality was good. Not all this trashy quality content that I've been seeing from back home. <laughs> and she was changing her clothes, and it was looking nice. It was, it was I feel enjoyable. like I've seen this one. I feel like. I know I think one of one of the ones she did she had red hair I'm not too sure but that's the one I saw but then we start seeing the ones and the ones and the, I'm a savage classy blah 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 and I'm just like what the hell man I'm come out I'm like come on you don't need this right now it's a joke and everything I don't need to see it anymore I just get so tired oh <laughs> but yeah then the bop daddy also <laughs> 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 What daddy? Oh my god! What's that? What's that actually supposed to be? I mean, like, okay, so you see yourself looking regular, looking basic, and then for the guys, you get you get your brush, you brush your beard if you have a beard, and then you hit the microphone. You, 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 you hit the back of the camera. Last year. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you come... <laughs> you cover the camera on your phone. And when you take it off, you've changed your clothes and you're looking bougie, you're looking nice. You're looking nice to see. You're looking quite nice for people to see. You're looking classy. You're looking... Cla- you you're know looking, what I'm You're looking classy. <laughs> yes. But then there was one I saw. <laughs> and this guy... He did he did his Bob Daddy challenge <laughs> and he threw his brush and he hit someone. <laughs> it hit someone's mouth. It hit someone's mouth. And the guy's tooth came out. I don't know what language he was speaking. I don't know what language he was speaking, but 
<laughs> he was so angry. He was so angry. Like, he, he, oh, he started punching this woman. <laughs> You know, people have actually stopped, or well, I won't say stopped, they've reduced the, like, the challenge. Um, they're still doing the challenge, but they're not using Bob Daddy or Don't Rush anymore. Or oh, what are they using now? I don't know the song, spoke, but I know. They spoke, they spoke Don't Rush for me now. That was a, that was a, that was a tune. They just, they just. I know, I see it a lot on IGTV, like my former classmates, they did one. I don't know which song they used, but they did the mm. challenge basically. Sorry, man, I need to check that out. I need to see it. Mm. But oh man, so many stuff, like people are coming up with so many things. People are being creative. People are, like people that have, that have YouTube channels are actually going back to their YouTube channels and bringing out videos for, for like more content. And it's like, yeah, why not? Make, make your videos have something to do. Cause I mean, I do mind is the devil's workshop, and you know where that comes from. But you know, you know, literally have more stuff to do. As a wise woman once told me this morning, if you know what I mean, have something to do. <laughs> have more stuff to do. <clears throat> you can't, you can't, um, you can't just be staying there and be doing nothing. Help out around the house. If you have a, if you have a, if you have a backyard. Do stuff. I mean, you got to have lots of stuff. I see, see so many people with the challenges nominating people to do this. Not just sending pictures, but then do trying out different stuff. You can try out if you love exercising, try out different exercises. If you love painting and you actually haven't painted in a while, go do that because you actually have to find something to do. In this time, this is the worst time to have yourself bored and idle. I've been bored for quite a while, but then you're like. Why not just do something? Just reminded me of something. I just said board. Another song I'm tired of hearing is that board in the house and I'm in the house board song. Is that song that Tiger made? Yes. Oh yeah. I'm tired of hearing. Thank you, Tiger. You killed us. But yeah, it's like you keep doing things and you're wondering what you need to do. There's, so, there's actually a lot of stuff you can do. There's actually a lot of stuff you can do that you wouldn't have had the time to do at university. I mean, with your schedule and schoolwork and lectures, unless you miss lectures or don't even go lectures at all, you have lots of stuff to do, lots of different things to do. You have guys making music. You actually think they can't, like, because they can't go to the studio, they can't make music. They just they just revert back to their roots. They just go back to what they were doing, um, how they used to make their music. And now that they know how to do it better, they just keep themselves busy from there. They make beats and stuff. It's it's crazy. Painting, drawing, dancing. You learn something new every day. So why not just take that advantage? Because you're free every day. To all the girls that ever heard me telling me they were busy, go learn some new stuff to do. Yeah? <laughs> it's sad. Very. Sad. But, yeah, Africast. We're just trying to trying to live up the mood for our followers those of you that keep watching we love you guys as it is you continue to subscribe and like this is a new channel so we're trying to build everything up from the ground under from the ground up actually because i mean why not this is the best time to see where we at to see what we can do with our time it's crazy as it is but we have to keep moving positive vibes is just what we need more 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 positivity more love more respect this is the worst time to actually go bully people or be be racist or sexist or or feminist or whatever or even homophobic or 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 or, or, or being negative to queer people i mean don't let don't make anyone feel like trash at a time like this where everyone where everyone is suffering one way or the other because oh i i don't i don't see i don't see any point in it mm. yeah. there's no point but people still do it like i've seen so many videos where people are like oh that i can say what i want because we're in quarantine that what are you going to do come to my house and get me you're just a bringer of bad news aren't you people keep doing it i'm just saying the truth Hi. Yeah, but you're right, still. You're right. It's just, ugh, I don't, I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. Oh man, do you remember? 
What was that thing? I need to remember what it was. Um. Oh, I don't. I, I don't remember. I, I don't remember. Man, being in Scotland is boring. Really? To me, yeah. I mean, I've walked for quite a while. I've gone on a few walks, like once a day. I'm just like, there's nothing quite there. Nothing. It's a beautiful place, but then that's all it is. I'd like to go exploring with someone, but then like, you know, locked up quarantine and stuff. Well, it's been kind of boring. I mean, compared to Reading, <clears throat> I'd say it's almost the same. Maybe just because, like, there are not that many people. But then, I mean, you guys, where are you guys at? Like, where are you guys are around England, Scotland, the United Kingdom? Maybe you fare better than us. Maybe you enjoy yourselves. Maybe you got a pool in your backyard. Maybe you got the money. Maybe you got someone not trying to make you fat. But we move. But yeah, yeah, it's been kind of crazy. But this has been Afrocast. We're going to end it right here. Because in this episode, we actually have nothing else to say for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed what we were talking about. More info, more comments, more content. Real people, real vibes. It's Afrocast. It'll be my co-host, Michelle, my sister. Keep coming down to help me with this whole stuff. But she got some bare facts for you, man. has got some bare gist as well. So get ready for the next episode when we actually decide to do another episode, which will be quite soon, but quite far away as well. But it's been Afrocast. Wagwan. Well,